it and across the galaxy. This is the Darren Sanders Show. This really hasn't been a sporting show as yet, or I don't think we've had any sports or, or athletes on, but uh, we're going to change it now with uh, Paul Ciro Sirinan. You're still an athlete, aren't you? <laughs> uh, no, you're not changing the show at all. No, okay. No, no, far well. Used to be an athlete back in the day, mate, but uh, no, that's sadly uh, long gone, mate. Did you, do you still do any exercise or not? Uh, a little bit, mate, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you enjoy a, a food and a beer like I do, mate, you've got to do a little bit. So, yeah, um, yeah. yeah I, uh, it's harder as you get older, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. But more important, you do stuff, I guess. Yeah. Really, Darren. So, um, but, but yeah, a bit of walking and sort of go to the gym every now and then and have a sweat, mate. But uh, yeah. No, no, I enjoy it still. No, I'm the same. I used to I used to be a bit bigger, but now I think if you get injured, I had, I had an injury. Um, it was only tennis elbow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't play tennis, but and it was from, uh, I think, strenuous exercise. Uh-huh. But I just kept trying to... Yeah, no, it was. That right was arm, the left arm. No, left okay, arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> End up getting acupuncture and physio and all this. And then you, then you find, found you get off it, then if you get back into it, it's much easier if you keep, if much, you keep yeah, doing it. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, so uh, we can talk about a bit about your career, I guess, because the show's not really about that. Most people no. know. Most people know who you are. Yeah, well, well, you hope so. Um, most people of a certain age, maybe. Yeah. Um, where, did, where did you grow up? Mate, not far from uh, where we are, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah born and raised around uh, North Ryde, mate. Yeah. East Ryde. Are you, are you living in the the house you grew up in now? Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Although it's we we have you ever moved out? <laughs> you mate, I did. I yeah. did, but we. Yeah. Um, I, I, I kind of kept it quiet on the old man. The old man built the house. He's a builder, as, okay. as, as is my brother. But uh, mate, we knocked it down about five years ago and, um, and rebuilt just because, yeah. like, the, the original place the dad built a little, little red brick joint, you yeah. know, and we added and added and, you know, yeah. so it was all sort of hodgepodge here and there. So I got some prices to sort of renovate the whole joint and yeah. we thought, well, let's just start again. So so yeah. we did that. Right. Myself and my wife, Leanne, and, and both boys are uh, still at home, mate. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we've been back there, back in the back in the new joint for about four years, four and a bit years, mate. But uh, that's a, it's a great area, mate. We've yeah. been back on the bushland and where, I, you know, we, we, uh, we've got a big reserve out the back and that's what my childhood was spent playing cricket and footy out the back, mate. Yeah. Was, summertime was cricket. And, and it'd uh, be interesting to, I mean, it'd be a weird feeling, I think, to go in that same area that you, you grew up in. Um, oh, I'd, I've moved around so many places, it'd be strange enough, but I, I like those shows when they take people back. It becomes quite emotional when they take people yeah, back to where yeah. where they grew up and, and the memories that would come come flooding flooding back to you. But, um, yeah, if you've got play, play area cul-de-sacs, even better. Yeah. Kicking the kicking the footy on the road. That's or, great, mate. Yeah. And, and look, it, it, it is a dead end yeah, cold sack, mate. So we yeah. it, it's cricket out in the street occasionally, but yeah. we're a little bit sport at the back, mate. We used to mow the pitch, mow, mow the pitch, and there was about, yeah. I guess, about eight, six or eight young young blokes were all sort of, you know, early teens, and we'd just play you know, all summer, all, yeah. all summer holidays would be out in the back playing playing bloody cricket. Yeah, you know, talking, oh, we, we had a, um, our, our pitch was the driveway, so our. Our long run up was across the other side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> to, I think we used to do the Merv Hughes. You used to come from behind the tree and do the big, yeah, uh, the, yeah, big the big arc, the big big arc. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, your early career before football, then uh, the police force. Did you? You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, did you, did you give me a look no, then? Like, no, well, no, no, no. You know? well um, yeah. my grandfather was a copper, so, so yeah. he he had thirty eight years, uh, thirty eight years in the police force, and. Um, just growing up, you know, I'm a, my, my, as I said, my brother went into building like the old man. Uh, yeah. But um, no, I, I, I had it kind of worked out, mate. By the time I was about nine or ten, I, I knew I was going to be a copper and play. I wanted to play first grade footy, right. rugby league. So I yeah. um, just sort of chased that dream when I was, I was growing up, mate. So yeah, joined yeah. the um, joined the police force. So I, I Did you do the away. training down in um, in, in Goulburn? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, actually, I, I, I did my. First up stuff at Redfern. It was still do, it was just about the transition from Redfern to yeah. Goulburn, yeah. but did all my training down in Goulburn, mate. It was bloody freezing in the middle of summer. Um, yeah, it'd be fog and fog and whatnot. You know, it was bloody December and yeah. still have fog. Was that straight out of school then? You you joined the? Uh, no, mate. I, I'd, I'd worked on the ride council for um, right. for about twelve or eighteen months. Did you really haven't left the area at all? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, not, really, yeah. not really, not yeah. really. But um, yeah. yeah, so I was there, mate. I, I had a little little. Um, Diversion after school, you know, went overseas yeah. for, um, for for a little bit, yeah. um, and, and got a scholarship to play a bit of sport over there. But was this but, the uh, Hawaii Hawaii trip? Hawaii yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 which was great. How so. did that come about? Because it's, uh, I mean, I guess it's an avenue now for 
a lot of different football players here from all the codes, from AFL League Union, mm. um, to be enticed to maybe try out for the NFL in America. Mm. But um, but back then, were, were there, were there, was there a lot of interest back then? No, nah, well, not, not really, mate. There's a guy by the name of Colin Scott who um, who, who, who had been there for a couple of years. He, he played a bit of uh, schoolboy rugby and was, was, was pretty good, mate. So he yeah. got recruited. Um, the, the, the guys from Hawaii sort of looked all around the, I guess, the Pacific Basin and, you know, the islands... Yeah, the islands and you know Australia sort of come to view, but uh, but Colin went over there and was really successful as a defensive tackle. And um, I'd, I'd made the Australian schoolboy rugby league side um, out at last year at school, and yeah. and this um, scout came down and um, we did some testing and bits and pieces, and it, they they offered me a scholarship. It took me all of you know ten seconds to agree to go Hawaii, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. But no, it was a wonderful mate living in yeah, you know, we're only ten minutes from Waikiki on yeah. the on the campus there and we used to jump on the mopeds and yeah. go down after if you weren't pra- didn't have practice or, or training or anything, you'd jump down on the moped yeah. and go down the beach and have a surf and yeah. have a swim and live it up it's, a, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a weird weird area Hawaii I've been there a couple of times and it sort of looks a bit postcardy, like yeah, it's, 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 it's very manicured. The, the, the yeah. lawns and everything's neat yeah, and tidy, but there's also this underbelly. It's got a good feel to it, by yeah, the way. Yeah. yeah, I think once yeah. you get there and you're yeah. all, you know walking down Kapalani Drive or Kalakau, yeah. whatever it is, mate, you got to. But if, but if you're playing well, defensive in a defensive team, <laughs> you don't get you don't get much of the glory in NFL. No, you, know, you don't, mate. No, not at all. Not yeah. at all, mate. It's yeah. all about the quarterback and the yeah, it is, receivers it? and all that. That's the yeah. guys. That, that, that's why, basically, mate, our game rugby league, I can sort of run, pass, tackle, kick, yeah. do everything. Yeah. Not that I did, but uh, yeah. you, you can do all that sort of stuff, and then you know you, you get sort of you're a, you know just a defensive tackle. So basically, yeah. your job is to. Shut down the quarterback or the running backs, and, mm. and that was it, mate. So, yeah, uh, yeah. so look, I went over there and had a great time, and yeah. as a nineteen-year-old, lived it up. And but uh, I, I said, look, I've got to get fair income. Can't drink till you're twenty-one, there, though, can you? Uh, Hawaii, well, Hawaii was eighteen. Would you was believe? Yeah, right. Thank God for that. So. Yeah. <laughs> not, not that it's <laughs> off the college <laughs> place, of the, mate. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah, part yeah, of the part of the clause of the contract. Great time on yeah. campus, mate. Yeah, yeah. Have, a, have a wonderful time. So. Yeah. But uh, came home and um, yeah, I, I sort of played played a year of the lower grades for the Tigers and yeah. Then, um, mate, yeah, I was you know, played first grade the following year, so it was a yeah. pretty good decision. Well, yeah, yeah, your, your career sort of shot shot up very quickly, didn't it? With the uh, yeah. rookie of the year and uh, uh, a couple of grand finals when yeah, you first started. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was funny because. Uh, Back in the day, yeah. like you're told not to do heavy weights, like league circles. I don't heavy weights are no good for you, and yeah. that's all I did over there was put on size and right. size, strength, and power, and sort of came home and I, I played a couple of games. I came home for summer vacation when I was yeah. there and played some lower grade games, and just because I'd been in the gym, mate, and got plenty bigger and stronger, yeah. and I was throwing blokes around, so I thought, oh, yeah. this is all right. But yeah, uh, yeah no, it. it um, it's a bit different now, mate. They, they love the gym, so. Was it a full time job for you or not? No. No, 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 no. no, no. Still, yeah, yeah. Not until um, super, super, yeah. super, super Greek come in, super yeah. league. Yeah. In oh, the yeah. late 90s, mate. But, yeah. uh, I mean, if you look at the blacks from the you know, 70s and 80s mm. and, and before, mate, they're all got dog's bodies, you know. They're yeah. All, Shoulders like a brown snake, mate. Yeah, there's, there's no, I mean, many, it's the same. Man, I grew up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So. I grew up in, uh, in Adelaide where, yeah. uh, um, you know, AFL AFL teams, mm. you, you'd have the quarter time break and guys would be smoking. Oh, and, mate, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Just into, the, the, into the rooms half time. Wasn't too much different, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, wasn't too much different here. But, uh, yeah. but no, it, it, that transition came in the sort of 90s and yeah. blokes had to justify having you, you know, full time. So, bloke, you know, you're in the gym, you know, three, two, three times a yeah. week. Then. So, so th- was that the change then, the whole professionalism yeah. of, of all the sports? Of probably all the codes uh, turned that league, way? or League did. I, I don't yeah. know when cricket, cricket went. Yeah. Cricket may have went a little bit before. I, I don't yeah. know, mate. But, I think cricket's uh, in trouble just because of social media. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, some, uh, that's, that's those guys. I mean, there's a good bunch to follow yeah, on social yeah. media. Cricketers, yeah, ex-cricketers. Yeah, uh, yeah. But um, they always have some good stories at the yes, functions, and they yeah. do, mate. They yeah. do. But uh, but I, I think the AFL and league, mm. were, were, the NRL, were fairly closely linked to with the professionalism and the, yeah. and the rugby union was wasn't far behind they yeah. become professional and just start paying tax mate unfortunately they're all yeah. in the world, so <laughs> yeah. that's how that happened uh, playing for the country then that's a it's a sport where you do get to play for your country and and travel as well um what are those tours like the kangaroo tours were wonderful mate yeah. and, and uh, the one of the the big things that happened with the Super League was that they they, they stopped doing the kangaroo tours. So every four oh. years you'd, you'd go away with, yeah. you know, twenty eight uh, twenty eight blokes are picked to go overseas. And is there anything just on that? Is there, when you play club 
games. There's a lot of rivalry and mm-hmm. hatred and digs at other players. W- what does happen, though, when you're all put together on, on one of those tours? Does, is, there, is there an underlying thing still... I think it's still there, or is that just? No, nah, not really, mate. Yeah. If, if, if you're if you're a bit of a dickhead, mate, you don't. Yeah. You generally don't get picked. You yeah. Know? I mean, yeah. Every, every now and then, there's, there's one or two blokes who could sneak through, mate. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but by and large, I think it's all about sort, sort of dynamics too. You know, if yeah. if, if, if a bloke's a, you know, a bit of a toss of that, they generally yeah. don't get picked for those trips. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think that's happened but, in cricket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> does, mate. That, yeah well, exactly. Yeah. I exactly. mean, they, they've got what eleven? They've got to find eleven players and yeah. that, that gel and. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So, so league, league a little bit different, mate. But you, you get together and have a few beers, and it mm. tends to break down all the barriers, mate. Yeah. If you've got any, any sort of uh, differences with a bloke, you, you tend to iron them out there over a few, over a few beers and yeah. just get on with it, mate. You'll be, you'll be playing for your country, so that, that's yeah. it's a great thing. So, uh, but mate, yeah, just wonderful memories, mate, of, of kangaroo tours because they're just, yeah. you know, you're five, five, six weeks in in, in the UK based in, mm. you know. We stayed in around Leeds, Leeds and Man- Manchester in '90, but Leeds in both uh, well, in '86 and '94, and, yeah. and stayed in around Leeds, which are rugby league towns. So, yeah. so people are very receptive, mate. They're uh, very hospitable. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and you have, have a ball, mate. When you're not when you're not playing, you've got some downtime, so yeah. you, you tend to get out and. Uh, yeah. When I had hair, you could let it down, mate. So, yeah, they were good times. Yeah, it's uh, uh, and times have changed with the fact that now. A lot of players have to watch out when they go out, and yeah. you know, again, it's you know we may be getting different stories at uh, at these functions. Mm. Like I said in a few years' time, we're you know <laughs> they're going to be a bit boring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, look, we know yeah. everything, but uh, well, well, that's yeah. the, the thing now is with you know you can film everything too. So if players yeah. are playing up. That's a that's a one one. one yeah. But you know, well, I mean, one good thing for us when we played, there was no, you know, no cameras around, really. Yeah. And, uh, it, it is, it is a bizarre social thing now that people want to know things. Mm. You know, I just look at even little things like, you know, somebody's got a, a future script of Game of Thrones online, you know, and somebody's yeah. hacked in to get a, you know, <laughs> just relax, wait and watch the show. Uh, let, let it, you know, there's... Are they really? Where is it? Oh, I can't tell you where it is. <laughs> <but yeah, it's laughs> you know well, what? Oh, it's good. you watch Game of Thrones? Right, I, I, uh, I, I, I had the man flu a few weeks back. Yeah. So I uh, got hold of the first three, the, the box set for the oh, first yeah. three. Well, yeah. mate. Wow, I, yeah. it got me after the, about the second because I, I, I had friends who watched it and I said, You're yeah. kidding yourself, aren't you? But yeah. uh, it got me after the second episode, and then I think I ended up watching the six watching series. Watching the whole, yeah. Six series. Oh, I did, I did that on a ship. 60 hours in two weeks, mate. Yeah. It, was a, it was a punch. Yeah. That's how I got into it. I was stuck on a ship, and yeah. you know, so you, you just end up watching one after the other, yeah. and you think, Oh, shit, what happens next? Yeah. Oh, no, Go back mate, to the cabin, flick on another oh, no. one, wake up in the morning, <laughs> I'll just watch a quick episode before breakfast. Oh, there's, and there's Khaleesi with that gear on. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's I think you just get those highlights fun, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. But, but now, um, yeah, I just uh, you know what? I watch it now. I, I think because I had that gap of mm. of you know when you catch up on it all. If, if you binge, yeah. if you binge watch it, you know what's going on. Yeah. But now I'm watching this one, going, I can't remember what happened oh, last no, year. Yeah. I have no idea. So yeah. I'm watching it, going, uh, just it just sort of washes over it me. Does, it does. It would have yeah. been. It would have been. So I was, yeah. I was quite fortunate. And, and the missus said, oh, let's not watch them. You know. <laughs> Don't, don't watch your current ones. Let's let's say them. Let's wait and then watch them all in one go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's probably the way to go. But yeah. uh, no, yeah. it gets you in, but doesn't. Yeah. Does At the end of your career, then a lot of players will finish up overseas. Mm-hmm. Uh, you did that as well. Is that the financial decision, uh, <laughs> or is it a yeah? not when you go to France? No, there. no, mate, no, no. I um, and I had the opportunity to go to England, but. Yeah. Um, what I finished with the Tigers in '98, so and the uh, the French sort of season sort of backed straight onto that. So mm. I went straight from finishing in, um, in in my career in Sydney straight yeah. over and playing in France. So I, I, I didn't want to have a you know four or five month break and then start training again and then, right. then go and play the English season. So well, well, yeah. why did why did they call you the Beast there? I don't know. I didn't even know they were calling me that. I, <laughs> I, I, I do research. I'm calling me lots of <laughs> yeah. lots of things, mate. Yeah, yeah. but. Um, yeah. No, nah, look, I I, uh, I I thoroughly enjoyed my time. I I got there in the first first few weeks were a bit tough, you know. Yeah. I mean, there was a fair few Aussies and Kiwis where I was, I was playing, which was good. So they they, they helped sort of translate everything. And the, right. and the club I went to was fairly strong, mate. So, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, you always think if you don't know the language, how that would work yeah. with. Yeah, but uh, no, it was, it was a great experience, and, and 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 you know the family came over, and we got a chance to you know it was like playing, I guess, sort of 
A grade footy here in, um, yeah. in, in 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 New South Wales, but uh, we've got a chance to travel, and you know you could travel to a little town, and yeah. it, let's say you know where, where I was based, you could go to Bordeaux. Bordeaux was two hours away, or down right. the Pyrenees Mountains, or yeah. Carcassonne, which is a beautiful walled to walled city. Yeah. That was only you know an hour away, so yeah. just so much you know the history over there. And yeah. but uh, again, the French ferry, you know the the the, the rugby league communities. Quite tight knit over there. So Did you ever feel like you wanted to stay there then, in that that part um, of the world, or are you always happy to nice. come home? Yeah. yeah. Look, I had to had to get fair and come and get home and yeah. get a job. Yeah. Go to, go to work. Yeah. You know, but, um, <laughs> yeah. We, um, I, I thought about going back for, for a second season just because we we loved it. But mm. um, uh, the oldest boy Curtis, um, he um, he started school anyway when we came home, so right. he started kindy, mate. So. Yeah. Had to get on with life, but um, yeah, you don't want some little. You don't want your little son coming home going, "Ooh, wish me." <laughs> well, <laughs> mate, we, we we put him into school over there, just yeah. into like a preschool, and yeah. he, he picked it up. It's funny, kids pick it up yeah. that quickly, and yeah, you know, I, I remember picking it up from you know, it was like kindy or something from one day, and the teacher said something, and I had no idea what she said, but he you know, he went over to his table and picked up a book and went over and put it away. I thought. Jeez. How'd you pick that up? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think I learned, yeah. I mean, when I went to school, we did. Uh, we had a choice, Italian or German to learn, you know. Mm. And growing up in Australia, you're thinking, when am I ever going to use these? Exactly. And yeah. for some reason, I'd pick German. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm never going to use German. And I can only remember one thing is, uh, you know, wie heißt du? Uh, which is, what's your name? Or what's your Hogan? Then, then I'm screwed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan! <laughs> you know, uh, so, uh, but uh, yeah, no, we, we were, um, I think we're Indonesian. Indonesian and, yeah. uh, and French were our options at high school, mate. I'm, okay. But uh, again, not too, uh, not too exciting when you're a 13, 14 year old. No, so, you're yeah. just thinking, when am I ever going to use it? Exactly. The other big competition, uh, it's probably bigger than, than club rugby. Maybe uh, it is, it, yeah. Rugby league, yeah, is uh, especially when it comes to attendances and mm. and figures and watching is is state of origin. Um, nah. is, is it too one sided? Yeah, how, how do you fix how do you fix state of origin? Do you do you bring in the other states so you so New South Wales can get to play <laughs> Western Australia? Uh, or, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mate, it's just, yeah. no, no. It's um, look, well, you know. I mean, I've got to tip my hat to the, the Queenslanders. I've just yeah. had. Look, and it goes through cycles, but they've just had some of the best players yeah. the game's ever seen, really, yeah. in the in the same team for, for the last several years. I, I really thought, you know, this year we're, we're a bloody big chance that a few out injured mm. and yeah. you know, a few busted and and uh, we just didn't get the job done, mate. But, yeah. uh, you know, Maybe we're going to go to a five series. Five yeah. games. Five yeah, games. Seven series. Or yeah. Whatever it takes to beat the just bastards. Every, <laughs> every week, just state of origin. Every week. Yeah, yeah. let's get them. But uh, yeah. no, well, I thought after game one this year, we, we put the cleaners through them a bit. And, yeah. you know, and then, then game two, we let it half time. And mm. I thought, you know, we got one hand on the trophy. And here we go. You know, the what, what about when they play interstate? How do you. Is, is, do you think that. Like, like you know, as, as in as in Melbourne, when they play oh, the games terrific. in Melbourne, no, no, I was, I was yeah. down there. I, yeah. I'm fortunate enough. I, I do a bit with the Junior Blues, yeah. who, who play the curtain raiser each game. So the under 16s, 18s, 20s. Yeah. So I'm involved with those games. So the last few years, so we've been. Uh, I mean, the Melbourne game. Uh, the well, it's a great stadium oh, to watch any fantastic. sport. I love watch soccer yeah. down there and yeah, and no, AFL. It's, but it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. So it's you know we had ninety odd thousand there, and uh, yeah. and I played there. I played there in ninety. 94, yeah. the, you know, the first um, first Origin game. We played we played at Olympic Park, but yeah. uh, played, played at the G in 94, and there was 88, 89,000 or something rather. And yeah. unfortunately, it was a bit of a shitty ass game, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, no, it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the crowd sort of didn't know when to. Well, when you're out, when you're out there, can you hear? Can you hear anyone in the crowd, or, oh. or is it just noise? Cause not MCG, nah. no. It's, but, it's, uh, uh, not yeah. really, mate. No, I mean yeah. the, sub, suburban grounds you can because you're yeah. a little bit closer, mate. Someone yeah. to give it to you about being. Yeah. They, they question your sexual sexuality at a few grounds and yeah. you know what you do to your mother and grandmother. You know, yeah. you, you, you wonder about that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, and you can't no. respond. You can't. No, you can't no, respond. Can you? You know, <laughs> I mean, I. Um, I mean, for me, when I, yeah. I, I, I knew it was time to retire. Actually, when I, I was halfway through a game and I was walking to a scrum and I was humming. 
the Wiggles tunes. Oh, right. the, boys were, <laughs> the boys were watching the Wiggles and I was just you know, bloody day and night. So yeah. I was in my head and I thought, oh shit, it's time to give it away now. Which so, one? Fruit salad? Uh, yummy, yummy. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato. So, mate, it's a true story. Maybe you're just hungry. Time to, time, to get, yeah, time to give it away, mate. But uh, yeah. but no, look, it's just, I, I, look, I was blessed, mate. I had a great time and some of my best friendships are out of the game and yeah. all the good things that have happened out of, out of footy, mate. When did the Lowe's thing happen? Because well, you've been the longest serving, uh, I believe, model oh. uh, for, for, for those. <laughs> they've, they've gone through, uh, they've gone through yeah, a few. No, look, I, I, uh, it's I, not necessarily a big man's store, is it? It's just, it's no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not mine. It's, it's not really everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sort of, I've got to be careful. I don't, you know, yeah. watch what I eat so I don't go into in a Darrell's uh, oh, yeah. big man's <laughs> section, mate. But yeah. uh, I'm sort of, I'm teetering on the on yeah. the edge here, you know, a little yeah. bit. But uh, no, just a great, mate, and. and Look, great fun. I, I did my first yeah. Lowe's, uh, Lowe's ad back in... Uh, well, they stand out, don't they? People, yeah, people, people yeah. know them, so and, the, the catchphrase... they're all footballers, and, yeah. all, all footballers, all, mm. you know, people involved with the game, and they've yeah. sort of turned over a lot of guys, you know, over the years. But, um, yeah. no, I, I started back when, you know, Blocker and you know, Ray Hadley and Michael O'Connor and all them blokes were yeah. sort of, you know... I think Fatty had just finished... He started the footy show, Fatty Vorton, so... Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, so I, I you know, was there for a long time, and then... I went to France and obviously had a break and came back and didn't think you know much of it. They wouldn't use me again, but sure yeah. enough, it sort of came up. And, you know, I must be a big enough goose that they <laughs> keep using us, mate, which is which is great. And, yeah. and they're good fun. You you're in and out in a few hours, and a really good crew of people. They were yeah. um, family-owned business, and it's you know been, been the same. Hmm. Linda Penn's been um, yeah, she, she's been a great. Uh, a great ally for many years, mate. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, so you, you do need other avenues. You can't oh, rely on, on, oh, mate, on the one. Lie. Not on Lowe's ads, mate, no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. But, well, I was uh, hoping you were going to bring some donuts in. Do, well. Is that, st- is that still going? No, that's still, well, look, are, you, yeah. are you still involved in that? Yeah, it was, it was another, look, yeah. a, you know, getting just a, yeah, through a network of guys that I knew over the years. But yeah. uh, when Krispy Kreme first launched, I think it was 2003, we opened the first store in Penrith, mate. Right, it was yeah. just a... What a phenomenon! It, just, it was just incredible the response, you know. And I, yeah. I hadn't really heard. Was it, it, it wasn't was, a drive-through one, was it? It was. It was, a, yeah, it was yeah, a drive-through yeah, one. Yeah, mate, you could drive, go in and drive through, or just drive both, through. Both, All right, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, it was yeah. a big, big store at Penrith, which is still out there in the yeah. the Lakes Club car park. But uh, yeah. I remember opening day, there was. You know, 70 or 80 cars at any one time all lined up to go through and the yeah. the queues were 400 metres long and people came from interstate from yeah. drive from anywhere and everywhere to get well it's get, funny uh, you go to the airport you go to the yeah. airport you've got to check your luggage in you've got to check your baggage in you can't get on the plane with more than seven kilos oh, yeah. yet the moment you walk through that gate there's a Krispy Kreme there there's and how many times you see people yeah. with Three dozen boxes. Stick them up in the overhead yeah. lockers there, anything. Oh, uh, man. Go yeah, on. I've heard some good stories, actually. I heard, yeah. heard a bloke, a um, mate of mine was travelling, and this guy dropped his box out and it landed on top of um, uh, Waterhouse. What's her name? Man? Okay. Gay. Gay Waterhouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think she was too impressed about it. But, uh, <laughs> no, mate, but uh, yeah, there, uh, there's always people, you know, you've just sort of seen now, although there's stores yeah. in the state now, obviously, yeah. but. Uh, yeah. But still, yeah, there's still a good little um, little present to bring home to the kids if you if yeah, back. Yeah, if just, you need them running around no, full of yeah, sugar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything in moderation, yeah. mate. All right, man. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure, mate. Good to talk to you. Cheers, you too. Coming up on the next episode of the Darren Sanders Show. You haven't lived till you've seen a, a female master sergeant um, basically bench pressing one of the comics. Yeah. <laughs> She's laying there on the floor, got one of the other comics just... Yeah, I've seen great yeah. stuff like, for, the, yeah. for the truth. The Darren Sanders Show was not recorded in front of a live studio audience. Mike Goldman speaking.